Browns getting ready for that playoff game Sunday night against Pittsburgh Steelers. And uh, it will be Baker Mayfield's first playoff game as a quarterback uh, in the NFL. Other side of the field, Ben Roethlisberger has been in 21 playoff games, almost as many as the total that Browns players have experienced. Uh, he is 13 and 8 in those playoff games. Mike Tomlin, Steelers head coach, knows it's an advantage, but he's not really focusing on it because he feels the playoffs are really unique and special. I do, and so I hadn't thought a lot about it. I just acknowledge that it's helpful to our cause, and so I haven't spent a lot of time, you know, enjoying the potential aspects of that. Uh, you know, I'm more focused on the on the challenges of preparation. Hey, Mike, uh, just to play off that playoff experience, your receivers don't have much of all, maybe one game, but they have extended playing time over their career. Can you just talk about how much playoff experience means or doesn't mean with that specific group? Hey, we, we can go down every man on our roster and every man on their roster and talk about playoff experience or not. The reality is there's not a lot of playoff experience by a lot of people. Um, there's there's scarcity in these games. And so these are big moments. And, and so we just need to prepare and focus on that preparation to position ourselves to play well and to, and to seize these moments. And I'm not spending a lot of time worried about who has experience and who does not. Um, I just want to position these guys to play well and push through some of those questions and things that all of us globally have to answer. And so from that standpoint, uh, it's fair and shouldn't, um, it shouldn't dominate a lot of our thought of time. So let's bring back in Mary Kay Cabot, a beat reporter for the Cleveland Browns here on Cleveland.com as well as in the pages of the Plain Dealer. Mary Kay, when you think of Ben Roethlisberger against the secondary that has been kind of beat up, that's not a good thought because that's a guy that can probably find the matchup that he wants. I think that speaks to the Browns really needing Denzel Ward. You think that's accurate? Yeah, and you know, Denzel has a chance to play in this game. So they just have to hope that he gets back. Uh, it's a matter of, uh, you know, just him getting cleared and passing all the medical stuff. Uh, but he does have a chance to be back uh, from a timing standpoint. Uh, because his 10 days will have expired by the time that game happens on Sunday. The Sunday game really helped him. So, yeah, they do need Denzel back. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, if he, and again, he kind of woke up in the second half of that Colts game, those receivers are really good. And if they're hanging on, they're darn good. Chase Claypool, Juju Smith-Schuster, Deontay Johnson. This is a really good trio. So you definitely need all the defensive backs you can get. Now, Kevin Johnson, I don't think he will be back because he tested so late for the the virus i don't think that he has a chance i'm pretty sure he does not have a chance to be back um so hopefully for the browns they will have denzel and you know and they can put him on a, a deontay johnson 